the holy sages that opened and illuminated our eyes to understand the true meaning of the verses, that without their wisdom there would be no way to understand the Bible and to understand the holy scripts of the Torah, the holy Torah. A simple, simple example for that is the mitzvah of tefillin, that our sages taught us that the intention of the verse Vehayu letotafot ben enecha uksharatam leot al yadecha vehayu letotafot ben enecha means that we need to put tefillin now for a person who just reads the Bible even in the Hebrew edition you can never understand the mitzvah of putting tefillin from that verse because the verse is saying Ukshartam leot al yadecha you should tie them as a mark, as a sign on your hand vehayu letotafot ben enecha and they should be as totafot that totafot is not a familiar word for us even to learn what it means that they should be le totafot as totafot we don't know what's totafot it's not a word that is known we're not using it in any other way in hebrew ben enecha between your eyes a mysterious verse that does not mean anything without the pure and holy explanation that was given to us in legacy by the sages that they accepted it in Kabbalah from the first sages that get got it from the elders and the elders got it from the head of the tribes head of the tribes got it from uh, Moshe, Aharon, Elazar Tamar. 70 elders people got the wisdom from them and gave it to the next generations of the sages in the days of the temple, inheriting the Holy Land, and then the first and second temple. In those generations, they explained and opened the wisdom of the verses, what that Hashem told Moshe, and Moshe gave the wisdom to Aharon, Aharon to his children, Elazar and Itamar, mainly to them. And the next ones, were the 70 elders that got the wisdom and spread it among the people of Israel. Without the traditional wisdom of the oral Torah, we would never be able to understand the meaning and the intention of the verses. So without the wisdom of the ancient and holy, wise and righteous people that hand the inner wisdom, the soul of the Torah to us, we would be like blind people in the dark that cannot understand between right and left. For an example, if you read the stories and the tales of the Bible, like on Bil'am, you have that person Bil'am. By the simple verses, you see a person doesn't seem so evil in his words. When people are coming to ask him, Balak and his people are coming to ask him to curse the people of Israel. He's saying, I cannot. If Hashem will not let me, I cannot. And even if you're going to fill my house with gold, I won't be able to do that. Sounds like an honest person. But if you look into the depths of the verses, by the deep explanations of the holy commentaries and the sages, you see the depth of his intentions that were so evil and unpure that you understand how to protect yourself today from those aspects of evil inclination that are trying to sabotage and to hurt our holy camp until today. Only based on the wisdom of the old and holy sages, we know until today how to follow and to keep the rules that were given to us by the maker of the universe.
Você está assistindo Emonar Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e shalom.